All right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean, um, in this case, the Rolex Submariner. Um, this could likely be uh, applied to, you know, any any kind of watch that that you're trying to clean. Um, I wouldn't recommend it with uh, a leather band, but other than that, it should be fine. So. What we got here is I have just a little bit of uh, distilled water. Um, I use distilled water just because you know it doesn't have the minerals and all of that kind of stuff in it. You don't have to, but I just happen to have some uh, around because I use it to clean other things. Um, so I have some uh, here. I've got some uh, Honest shampoo. You could use uh, you know Johnson and Johnson's baby shampoo. Just something that's that's not really harsh. Um, you know, some shampoos and whatnot are a little more harsh than others. So uh, these, you know, if you can use it on a baby, uh, should be should be good to go. Just a, and then this is just a normal, ordinary household uh, toothbrush, and I've got a uh, a clean cloth, and then um, I have an extra cloth here standing by just in case. So. First things first, that you then this is really important, is that you want to make sure that the crown is locked down tight and seated. Otherwise, you could run the risk of getting water into the watch, and that's that's not good. So make sure that this is is down. It do, you don't have to you know put the put the whole torque on it, but just make sure it's seated and and sealed in a locked position. So next. I'm going to take just a couple of squirts of that, uh, maybe one more for good measure, of the Honest Company uh, shampoo, and then I'm just going to kind of give it a little, little bit of stir to get the get some of the soapy action going there. See some of the bubbles starting to form. And then so now what I'm going to do, just for good measure, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit just on the bristles there. Just like I'm be brushing my teeth, but I'm going to be brushing my watch. So now I'm just going to take the watch and basically submerge it in the water. Because remember, you know, I'm, I'm safe. And, you know, this is, this is a soft bristle, soft bristle brush. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, scrub the the metal off or anything like that I'm just you know scrubbing it gently getting into all of the little nooks and crannies uh, of the watch on the bracelet I've got a nice lather on my toothbrush and we're just cleaning you don't have to be in a rush it's, it's not a race you know and so you just get in there into all those nooks and crannies when you wear the watch, you know, um, aside from just normal environmental factors, i.e. dust, pollen, you know, all kinds of funky stuff that's floating around, COVID, <laughs> sorry, had to throw in a COVID joke there. Um, the, the sweat and the oil from, from your body um, can cause uh, the watch to, to get dirty. So, you know, it's a good idea to clean it, you know, uh, just whenever you feel it's necessary. I mean, I don't clean mine at a certain interval, um, but I definitely, I mean, if I see that it's dirty, you know, a lot of times like you'll, you'll know when you take it off, you look on your wrist and there's some black, black marks there. That's a pretty good indication that your watch, you know, may be, may be a little bit maybe a little bit dirty and so you might ought to want to think about giving her a giving her a scrub down she'd appreciate it so I popped open that little diving spot to reveal the extra part of that bezel I mean I'm sorry the bracelet get in there really really well rinse my toothbrush a little Getting in here, getting it clean, and then so now 
We'll just you know put it put it back down inside here in the water. What you can do if you want is to have a separate bowl uh, set up with uh, some some clean non soapy water, but I just decided not to not to do that. I'm just using one one bowl and just cleaning cleaning the whole watch there. It is, I, don't, I don't know if you can see this, but I mean the water, it's a little bit, it's a little bit murky. It's a little bit, a little bit dark. Not, not super, super bad, but um, this is another reason why having an extra uh, towel handy is a, is a good idea. So I'm just letting it sit in there for a second. I'll just uh, get some of that funk off. And as you can see, I mean, it's already like it, it has a really nice shine to the watch. It's, uh, it already looks a whole heck of a lot cleaner than it was. And so, put that back down, put it in there, and then what I will do is I'm going to take some of my distilled water here, and I'm going to use a small cup to make it easier to pour. I'm doing this off camera, obviously. And so, when I take out the watch, just because there's a little bit of soap and suds and whatnot on there. I'm just giving it a gentle little rinse. Getting all that stuff off. I mean, look how shiny it is. It looks beautiful now. I'm trying to keep it over the bowl. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just transfer it over here to that cloth. And all I'm going to do now is basically just start drying it up. Let's move my water out of the way. Yeah, you can definitely see that there's a little bit of um, a little bit of dirt in there. So, like I said, just cleaning it off now with this. Uh, just a plain old white rag. You can use, some people use, you know, a microfiber cloth. I mean, if you if you have one laying around, that's great. If not, I mean, just any clean cloth will do. And I'll just give it a, a good wipe down. If you were, you know, using a microfiber, like I would definitely maybe suggest doing it on the, uh, on the surface of the of the glass there but I mean this is not a super rough thing I mean nothing's gonna get scratched or I mean these watches are extremely well made and you know I mean like I said I was at the gym the other day and I had this on I was playing basketball against Shaq no just kidding <laughs> Shaq's too scared to play me <laughs> so you know got the watch nice and clean in all the little nooks and crannies and so you know now you're you're all good let me put my toothbrush back I mean you saw how long that took I mean and look at that it's just absolutely beautiful looks phenomenal uh, very inexpensive. You don't need to buy crazy high-end watch cleaners and specialized tools and I mean, you know, household bowl, some distilled water, which is just what I prefer, like I said, because I have some laying around because um, I use it to clean other things. Otherwise, just plain old tap water should be fine. And then a uh, little bit of uh, like Johnson & Johnson's or uh, Honest Company soap and you know good five minutes worth of your time and then you know you've got a gleaming clean beautiful watch again 
All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Any comments, questions below. Until next time, Texas Triple Tapper, out.